Hi, uh, um, this is a quick video on a um, live preview renderer that's in beta at the minute. Um, I can't tell you what it is because I don't know, honestly, I've no idea. This is about my 50th time because I keep dropping myself right in it. So hopefully, basically if I shut up then I won't do anything bad. Um, or at least I hope not. So we can. S this looks like a still. Currently, it's where well, it is a still because there's nothing moving. Therefore, it is still. Um, I can sort of go onto the application, grab the camera, which we've just done, and we can sort of move in and drop the camera down and move in again. And uh, basically, it gives me an update. I can rotate the camera a little bit over here, shift around, rotate again. There you go. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, I would say pretty useful I'd say. Um, I have noticed that quite a lot of uh, renderers nowadays are giving you these sort of features. Um, I know that V-Ray 2 um, is going to have this if this type of preview render built in. I think um, Final Render does as well. So does Modo. Uh, I know some more applications that are going to do that including this one. Um, quite good actually I think. Um, this doesn't seem so far to be missing that much as in some preview renderers will only render certain things this one seems to be rendering most anything and everything um, this is lit with a uh, HDRI image in the background which I can go and turn off which we're going to do now so that's turn that off basically that's doing um, most of the light um, all I've got is um, all I've got is a area light set quite low and I can instead rise, raise that up to sort of like the scene instead. It looks quite CG, so uh, that will resolve pretty quickly. We sort of go with that. It's about there, isn't it? And then we can sort of drop that back down to uh, off again and switch the background image back on the HDRI to do the main lighting. And that all looks pretty groovy, I would have to say. Um, yeah, what do you think? Quite nice. Still haven't dropped myself in it yet, which is quite good. This is like take four to seven hundred and twelve, and uh, yeah, liking it. Um, computer we're using it is a uh, a quad core two point four Intel, so it's not exactly the world's greatest computer. Um, it definitely isn't the world's greatest computer. If it was, then I'll, I'll be like, way well, hey, I'll sell it. Um, and the graphics card is just an NVIDIA GT. Uh, 8500 which is also quite old, it's got 500 megs of RAM and basically it's about ready for its Zimmer frame. Um, I would say that this is neat. Um, quite liking this. Um, I was trying out um, iRay yesterday and I was singularly so far, I mean I might be proved wrong, but singularly unimpressed with iRay. Uh, that didn't seem to work with a lot of materials and um, very slow and noisy. So yeah this seems a much more interesting option to me so with that I'll shut up before I ruin this video and tell you what the app was which I can't tell you I'd have to kill my cat and that's never gonna happen is it well she's asleep maybe she's just playing dead anyway I could tell you if she's playing dead oh she's woke up no can't tell you there you go right um cup of tea ta-ta bye-bye and uh, happy Easter